I've put together a video, it's about 18 minutes long, that discusses how to change the size of various parameters in a photo. But unless you understand the definition of each of those sizes, it doesn't make much sense on how to change those or why you're changing those. So I'll try to get you guys up to speed as to what we really mean by size of a photo, all right? I could think of four definitions of photo size. There might be more. The first is megabytes. What do we mean by megabytes? That relates to the amount of zeros and ones that you have to store in memory or that you're gonna transfer either by attaching it to an email or by transferring it from one device to another using a cable or some sort of wire, right? It has nothing to do with the number of pixels or the physical size of a photo. It's just the number of zeros and ones. The second type of photo size is megapixels. And that relates to the total number of individual pixel dots in a photo. And that's megapixels means millions of pixels. So the more dots, the more definition you have in the photo. Another measure of size is pixels per inch. And that relates to how close the pixel dots are to each other when the photo is printed. It's pixel density. You know, when you look very closely in a newspaper and you see the individual dots, the pixel density there is very low. When you look at a photo that is very, very clear and sharp, the pixel density there is very high. And finally, photo dimensions. And that basically relates to the printed size of a photo. 16 by 20, four by six. All four of these are different descriptions of size, but they all relate to the size of a photo, all right? Now, I'm gonna show you that you already understand this by relating it to something else that you're already familiar with. I'm gonna relate it to the size of a living room carpet that's made from thousands of knots of closely knit yarn. You're all familiar with buying carpet. The carpet weighs a certain amount in pounds. That's the first measure of the size of the carpet. The carpet has a total number of knots of yarn over its entire area. That's the knots in the width times the knots in the length. If you've got 100 knots going this way and 100 knots going this way, total number of knots in that area is going to be 10,000 knots, 100 times 100. The carpet has a certain number of knots per inch. That's the density of the carpet. And finally, the carpet is gonna have a certain length and it's gonna have a certain width. It's measured in feet or it's measured in yards. And some of these are interrelated. For instance, if you increase the density of the carpet, you go to the carpet salesman and you say, you have a better carpet. This carpet doesn't feel lush enough. So you're asking him really for more knots per inch. But if you ask him for more knots per inch, it'll increase the total number of knots in the carpet, and it'll also increase its weight. So by changing one size parameter, the knots per inch, you've, in, you've changed two of the other size parameters. So these do have a relationship to each other. All right, now let's compare what we were just talking about regarding the carpet to the size of a photo like the weight of a carpet, the photo has a certain weight that must be stored in memory. And as we said before, that's measured 
in millions of bytes, megabytes. For instance, three megabytes means three million bytes of data that has to be stored on a hard drive. Like the total number of knots of yarn over the carpet area, a photo has a total number of pixel dots over the area of the photo. The number of dots in the length times the number of dots in the width. Multiply them together and you get millions of pixels or megapixels or MP. So for instance, a photo that has 4,000 pixels in one dimension, 3,000 pixels in the other dimension, it's 4,000 times 3,000 is 12 million pixels, 12 megapixels. All right. In the okay. video, we will talk about how to find each of these sizes, how to change each of these sizes, and how they interrelate. Third thing, like the knots per inch in a carpet, its density, a photo has a number of pixel dots per inch called PPI, pixels per inch. And for printing good photos, 300 pixels per inch is usually a good measure. 240 to 300 is usually what's, uh, what's needed in order to get a good photo for say a magazine cover. You can have less pixels per inch if you are looking at a printed photo from much further away. If say you had 72 pixels per inch, which is a much less dense photo, but if you were looking at that photo on a billboard 20, 30 feet away, it might still look fine. So you need to set the pixels per inch that you're going to print based upon what the application is. In this particular case, uh, if you are entering a photo contest where it's going into a magazine, you're gonna want a high pixels per inch because people are going to be looking at that photo from close up. And finally, like the dimensions of a carpet in feet <laughs> or yards, a printed photo has dimensions as well, 16 by 20, four by six. So you're familiar with all of those size definitions you can apply it from what you already understand from a, uh, from a carpet. When someone needs to know the number of megabytes in a photo, that's like asking about the total weight of the carpet it has to be stored somewhere. When someone needs to know the total number of pixels in a photo measured in megapixels, that's like asking how many total number of knots there are in a carpet. When someone needs to know the number of pixels per inch, that's like asking how closely woven the knots are in the carpet. And finally, when someone needs to know the dimensions of a photo, that's like asking for the length and width of a carpet. The last thing I wanted to show you, this was the entry form for a photo contest from last year. And I wanted to show you that they specify all four of those photo sizes. The first one they specify, they say they want the file size to be less than three megabytes. They say in order to submit via email. Well, what, what, what they're implying there is that the email won't be able to, you can't attach a photo that's larger, that's heavier than three megabytes. Well, most email systems can handle eight or more megabytes. Uh, I wonder whether or not what they were really worried about is that if they got thousands of submissions, each one being very, very huge, many megabytes, very heavy, that it might overload their own storage system. Remember what we're talking about here is the physical size, the number of zeros and ones in a photo. The second one is they want it to be a minimum of eight megapixels. Means that they want it to have a certain number of dots. That's sort of uh, implying a certain minimum quality of the photo. 
The more dots you have, the more pixels you have, the more detail you have in the photo. So they want that photo to have at least eight megapixels. And again, in the video, you'll see where you can see that information and how you can adjust it. And then you've got 300 dots per inch. They really don't mean dots per inch, they mean pixels per inch, but that's 300 pixels per inch because they want a good quality print on their, in their magazine. And they want that print to be eight and a half inches by 11 inches. Those are four completely separate definitions of size. And in the video, I'll attack each of those and talk about how to identify it, how to change it. 